Hello friends, my name is Lilith and welcome back to Sketchbook Story Sunday. For today's video, I wanted to doodle some dogs because I saw a lot of dogs when I was in New York City and I felt inspired to make an illustration print. I'm definitely more of a cat person than a dog person because I grew up with four cats in the house and when Annabelle was trying to decide on a channel name a long time ago, I suggested cat creature since we are basically cat creatures ourselves. I can read the micro expressions of cats much better than I can dogs. And most of the time, if I meet a dog or if my friends bring a dog, both me and the dog just feel nervous around each other and it's kind of unfortunate. I'm not the type of person that is loved by all animals. So this will ultimately be scanned and touched up, but I wanted to work analog because I think the quality of my hand and the materials will translate into something more interesting. This is just my preference. I don't have a lot of experience with Photoshop, not nearly as much as traditional or analog. I think throughout my entire life, I've spent less than 1000 hours with digital and almost 10,000 hours with traditional. Maybe I'll get there in another year or two. <laughs> I've received some questions from you guys on Instagram and YouTube regarding my drawing style. To be honest, I don't think I have a style which is both good and bad. It's good because it keeps me open-minded and I'm not afraid to try new mediums and techniques. But it's bad for branding because for illustration specifically, you want people to remember your work so if your body of work is super diverse or different, people might have a hard time recalling your portfolio. A lot of you guys also asked about how to overcome an art block. I feel like I could have answered this a lot better a few years ago, but I've reached a point in my process where art isn't confined solely to the drawing portion or the execution portion of the project. I basically think about art or art-related subjects almost 24-7, aside from times when I'm distracted by food or anime or games. <laughs> it doesn't mean I don't have bad days where nothing looks right and everything is just ugly to me. I think learning to break down the drawing into chunks helps a lot. For example, if I am interested in drawing anime, I'll look at my favorite series from the 90s and focus only on the eyes or the hair. Maybe I'll just look at hands or feet. I had many days where I only spend about 10 minutes drawing a hand if I have a full day of other obligations to attend to. So that's 10 minutes a day drawing outside of studio, outside of required projects. The important part of this exercise is to look at many, many, many works by different artists. I use Pinterest because it helps sort all of my artists in different visual folders and gives pretty helpful suggested posts. I discovered a lot of artists I like this way. So I guess the answer to overcoming an art block would be to break down the activity so that it is more habitual and less daunting and you aren't setting unrealistic expectations for yourself. You can build this habit of drawing by making it slightly more challenging every day. Maybe the first day you only draw the eyes, the second day you draw eyes from different angles, not just straight on, so maybe top down or three quarters. And then you draw hair, like bangs, with eyes or ears and so on. This helps build your muscle memory and adds to your visual vocabulary. So when you need to focus on more abstract concepts in future drawings, your body remembers how to execute the basics and you wouldn't be as nervous about messing up. If your body isn't as tense, you will end up drawing better. Because I just graduated from RISD, I'm in a transitional phase between student and professional in terms of my process. I'm trying to stay optimistic and positive, but there are many times when I question myself, when I feel doubt, and these thoughts slow down my progress so much that I just stop drawing. But because of YouTube and because of you guys, I'm able to push myself and give myself just an extra bit of motivation. So thank you so much for being here and listening for spending time with me. Have a wonderful day or night and I will see you next week.